logging that's available to us with Zscaler internet access. So I have a number of dashboards available to me um, showing general traffic information which uh, provides a high level overview for up to seven days. Um, these are customizable. I have dashboards for web, um, for security showing me the advanced threat information, um, the kind of cloud applications that are being used. Um, uh, this is my uh, CASB information, give me the risk score and the usage of these applications. Um, I can uh, look at uh, my DNS traffic that's coming through uh, my firewall modules and I can look at the overall firewall traffic to tell me what traffic is passing through and being applied uh, policy for firewall. I have information of bandwidth control if I was using that, as well as 0365 traffic passing through the cloud um, based on locations and users to show me the uh, quantity of 0365 traffic. Um, I can then drill down and I can look at um, comparison for things like my risk score compared to uh, my industry vertical and, and compared to other organizations. Um, and understand the risk score for um, comparative other organizations in my vertical um, that we see across the Zscaler cloud. I can uh, further um, drill into that with my peer comparison report um, in terms of number of transactions um, based on uh, how much I'm blocking. Obviously I'm uh, blocking quite a lot for my demonstration where on average um, my peers are doing uh, less than 1% blocking at a transaction level, um, uh, which is relatively low compared to the, the cloud average. Um, and we, we can compare ourselves and just see whether or not we are in the, the same ballpark as other um, industries in, the, in my vertical and other industries across the, the Zscaler cloud platform. The security audit report tells me about how well I have my platform configured um, in terms of, again, the industry standard for our platform. So I'm not using GRE tunnels, so it comes up as blank. I'm using um, pack files to configure my, um, my uh, Zscaler client connector um, that dictates which service instances I should use. Uh, my authentication frequency, my pack file is low in terms of its size, so that drives efficiency. Um, I've, I haven't got the one-click configuration enabled, so I get in the B for um, uh, Office 365. Um, and because I'm uh, not using uh, GRE or IPsec tunnels, I don't need to worry about IP visibility, so this is grayed out. So overall, I have a, a good score, but this would highlight any configuration information that I should uh, consider adopting or looking into changing my configuration to get a better service, better quality of service through the Z Zero Trust Exchange. My security report will tell me about um, what security configurations I've, I've got available. Um, it's given me a B because I don't have uh, everything SSL inspected, but I do have SSL inspection enabled. Um, I don't have Cloud Sandbox enabled for all of my traffic, so maybe I should consider um, looking at my Cloud Sandbox policy. Um, I can look at my Sandbox activity. I really don't have a great deal of files passing through the Sandbox uh, for the last seven days, so it's not going to give me any information. Um, and then I look at my SaaS applications, what applications are passing through. And I can look at my SaaS security report, what SaaS applications am I using? Um, I'm not configured for this, um, so we won't look at this. So we can then drill into um, Web Insights. And so Web Insights gives me the overall traffic information for a period of time. So I can drill in, um, let's have a look for um, the previous month of traffic, click Apply, and it'll show the uh, traffic pattern across there. I can uh, change this to uh, a bar chart, I can look at pie charts, line charts, or I could just look at the table, which will give me the raw transaction information.
Now, from here, I can drill down um, and do a number of different high-level filters. So we could have a look at um, cloud applications, and this will tell me that uh, my highest is Google Search. So I have a number of filter options that I have available to me to filter down. I could build more filters here on the left-hand side, or I could look at this and say, Google Search, tell me about this, um, and drill down by um, the server IP information, traffic information, user information. So let's have a look at user information, and it'll tell me that I've got a couple of um, different users that have um, used Google Search. The first one is myself, M. Ryan. And then I have a couple of transactions here which we weren't able to authenticate for some reason. Invariably, this is because they've come from my fixed location, and this was traffic that was generated probably by a command line, a curl, um, or a browser before SSL inspection occurred that they were able to inspect and get the, uh, the cookie information. So we will see all of our users, and there are a couple of specific um, Zscaler users, no auth protocol, bypass URL, so URLs that did not have SSL inspection enabled, or specific user agents such as curl for which we couldn't authenticate. Now we can further drill down into this um, and look at the raw logs to see exactly what was happening for that transaction. So here we've drilled down, we can see these uh, transactions. This was pack file, it was SSL inspected, um, and we can see this information here. If we have a look at all the different fields that we have available to us, I could look at things like um, uh, the, the user agent, um, the gateway information, operating system, if that was available to us, if it was using client connector, um, and all of these different uh, attributes are, are logged for every single transaction. So we'd be able to filter on this and say, okay, let's have a look at the user agent here. And in this case, it was uh, Chrome for Mac um, and a specific uh, user agent string. So for some reason, this was logged as a transaction. It couldn't identify the user. Um, and uh, we see the client IP, the external IP, uh, the server IP address I was connecting to. Further analytics, we can look at mobile information. If I had any mobile devices passing through the cloud, which I don't, Firewall will show me the firewall transactions. Um, and again, we can drill down. We can sort this by, um, let's take rule name. So I've got my Zscaler bypass, firewall filtering rule, and the proxy traffic. So let's uh, drill down a bit further and look at the user information. Again, I've got some traffic that couldn't be identified as a specific user. Um, I might want to consider blocking that traffic, but for this user, I can then drill down um, and look at the source IP information. So Mark Ryan's come from a number of different source IPs. This is, will be my Mac, and this will be my two different uh, Windows clients. And this is my external IP address. So we drill down in this further. We can look at the raw logs, and we can see those transactions again for that user. Mark Ryan from Milton Keynes, my client IP address, on my, on my device, my destination IP address. And again, I have a number of other fields that I could uh, add in um, based on uh, what was logged. And we can see all the information about how those transactions were processed, destination information, whether we did a, a DNAT or, or anything with the packet. We can look at the DNS traffic if we were logging all the DNS traffic. So again, we can drill down here, we can look at the raw logs, and we could add filters here on the left-hand side as well. So a number of different ways to drill into this, and we see that uh, Mark was connecting to this, uh, uh, let's have a look here, what were the IP address of the DNS server was, and uh, the information of uh, what it resolved to, and what we did with that transaction. Um, we have Threat insights for all of our threat reporting. Um, we also have tunnel insights for my GRE and IPsec tunnels. Um, I don't have anything in this uh, time period. Let's have a look at the uh, current month.
And we also have logs here for threats, insights, and tunnel insights to my GRE and IPsec tunnels, and any threats that were passing through from, uh, from my users. So a number of different uh, uh, high-level reports from, uh, from my dashboards, analytical reports to compare my configuration and peer comparison, and then insights where I can drill into the raw data and filter based on multiple criteria. It's helped me drive diagnostics of problems, as well as understanding user activity, which may, may, might make me uh, reconsider some of the, the filtering policy that I need to do um, to allow, deny, um, or caution for, for user activity.